I say we set up the tournament in Ricky's room. At the hospital? Yeah, why not? You think the doctors are gonna go for it? I'll talk to Angie. She and I are like this. <laughs> Mrs. Chandler. Oh, Lieutenant Berniker. Uh, Trevor, if you have a moment. Well, I've got a phone call to make. I'm busy. Oh, Trevor, this is really important. Please. This is fraud, Adam. To which you participated. Before I realized what you were up to. Harold, I think of your obscenely high fees. Don't be short-sighted. I wish I weren't bound by lawyer-client confidentiality. I'd love to tell your wife. That wouldn't be smart. No, what you're doing isn't smart. We're through, Adam. Get out. Heaven save me from reformed yuppies. Daddy. How long have you been standing there? Long enough to know you're stealing from Natalie. I was simply transferring some assets. From her name to yours. Yes, for tax purposes. It's done all the time. Sure. It is, really. Daddy, you even want her to sign the house over to you. It's my house, Sky. Well, maybe half of it is now that you're married to her. But you want her to sign over the rest to you, and that's stealing, that stinks, Daddy. Taking back what is rightfully mine is not stealing, and thanks to me, her net worth has tripled. That is no excuse for what you were doing. Now, you have been begging Natalie to marry you for months. She finally says yes, and now you're betraying her. Now, if there's any betrayal here, Natalie's betrayed me. What? I've turned myself inside out to make this marriage work, and she still wants that two-bit cop. Trevor, has she said that, that she wants no, him? No, no, of course not. But trust me, she's cheated in her heart every day of our married life. From where I sit, she deserves what she gets. You got one minute. Thank you. Meter's running. Tick, 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 I want tick, to tick, apologize tick, tick, for Adam's tick, behavior. This... Adam's behavior's got nothing to do with anything. <sighs> He had no right telling you that you couldn't come to the play. And if I had spoken up, Trevor, wait. I wanted to thank you for what you did for Timmy. You already thanked me. Well, he's thrilled that he has a real police officer's cap. Mm -hmm. I, I put tissue paper in it so it would fit better. Good, and if that won't fall down in the middle of his big speech, great. Well, he's awfully disappointed you're not coming to see the play. Who says I'm not coming? I just assume. Your hubby calls the shots for you, not for me. I don't listen to him. Then you're going. I wouldn't let the Tim man down. Good. I'm glad. Uh, that's really why I came by anyway. If you, Adam's not going, there'll be no harm in oh, your coming. Oh, two, two seconds here. I don't give a damn if Adam is going or not. I'm going because Timmy asked me to go. I want to go. I'm worried about that kid. He's a good kid, and it's going to be a miracle if you and Adam don't screw him up. You don't know how that woman has humiliated me. What are you talking about? My wife. She's lusting after Trevor. Lusting after him? If you don't think that hurts. Have you talked to her about it? Oh, she denies it. But you should see her flying into his arms at every opportunity. You've seen this. Hell yes! The night Dixie was rescued, we heard on the, on the news that a couple of cops had been hurt, so she went flying out of here like a shot, didn't even wait for me, and it was my ex-wife who was in danger. I followed her to the hospital. And you saw her with Trevor? That was only one incident. There have been many others, believe me. I'm sorry. I can't, I can't tell you how many times I walked into a room and caught her hanging up the phone quickly. She's constantly brooding over that idiot. Well, you knew she still had feelings for him when you married her. I didn't know. I thought she might. I told you myself that she was in, they were in love. But no, you wanted a marriage without love, and that's exactly what you got. Well, it's a little more complicated now. Why? Because I'm falling in love with her. Well, don't look so surprised. No, what surprises me are the lengths you go to to justify your actions. I beg your pardon. You could never love Natalie because you're still in love with Brooke. That's not true. 
If you have one shred of decency in you, Daddy, you will sign back whatever you've taken from I, Natalie. I, I, hell, I will. You're not the least bit guilty. Why should I be? Natalie's not losing anything. As long as she stays married to me, we're equal partners. I win, she wins. And if she leaves? That's what I'm protecting myself against. Daddy, you've already made back lots of money. Not enough to go after Paul McCortland. I'll be damned if anybody's going to throw me out of my house again. As for my wife, whether she keeps her money or loses it is entirely up to her. I've heard enough. If you don't sign back whatever it is you've taken from Natalie, I'm going to tell her exactly what you've been doing. Susan Sarandon, James Spader, White Palace. Fantastic. Incredibly sexy. Fabulous. I don't think you're going to do that. Oh, I will. In which case, I'll go to Palmer and tell him about you and his nephew. You'd betray me, your own daughter. It's, it's very interesting the way your mind works. If I go to Palmer and tell him about you and Will, that's betrayal. But if you go to Natalie and tell her about me, that's what? It's not the same thing, It Daddy. is exactly the same thing. It's called family loyalty, and it cuts both ways. You haven't changed one bit. Some things were never meant to be changed. How could I have been so taken in? I was feeling so good about us, Daddy. I know it's been a tough year for you. It's been a tough year for me, but I thought... I thought we'd both become better people. I was feeling closer to you now than I'd ever been. And you want to know something funny? I didn't want to tell you about you, but Will and me, because I thought it might hurt our relationship. Sweetheart, no matter what you think, I, I don't want to hurt you. Yes, you're right. We have grown closer. As long as I do what you want me to. The minute I disagree or, or, or care enough to point out that you're doing something rotten and I'm being disloyal. Why can't you understand how important no, this is? No, I can't understand and don't expect my seal of approval. I don't expect you to approve of everything I do. I'm just asking you not to betray me to Natalie. Is that too much to ask? Yes. You don't even like Natalie. Oh, Daddy, you have to give me a better argument than that. What you're doing is wrong. Morally and legally. And if I stand by and allow it to happen, then I'm just as guilty. No, Daddy, please, there is enough time to stop. If not for my sake, for your own. Do what you have to do. I'll do what I have to do. Meaning you'll go to Palmer. If that's what you want, it's up to you. Does doing the right thing mean so much to you that you're willing to risk losing will? Because that's the payoff if you go squealing to Natalie. Well, congratulations, Daddy. You've done it again. Congratulations to us both. I have to go. Are you going to Timmy's play? Who told you about that? Guess not. I have more important things to do than go to a school play. Of course you do. There's always something more important than your children. Timmy. Oh, Officer Brown, I should say. Thanks. Are you sure Trevor's coming? Well, he said he would come, so I bet he'll be here soon. Unless he's working on a big case or something. Hey! Yeah! <laughs> I hope I'm not too late. No, you're just in time. How do I look? Hey, you look copacetic. Just like the real thing. I'm going to tell the bad guys to watch out. Hello, Trevor. Natalie? How you feeling? Okay. A little nervous. A little nervous. Probably everybody feels a little nervous, but you're going to be great. Hope so. Yeah. All right, everybody. I think we should get started. Parents, if you just find some seats. And I need my actors and actresses up front, please. Yes, this is it. All right, you have fun. Yeah, break a leg. Timmy, what's wrong sometimes? I, I forgot my lines. No, honey, you've been rehearsing them all afternoon. Let me talk. All you got here is a little bit of old man stage fright. You hit that stage, it's gonna go out the door just like that. How do you know? Because acting is just, it's just like playing ball. You practice, you work hard at it, and you do it in front of people. 
Nervousness is part of the deal, right? You remember how worked up you got before the game? Yeah. And you did great, right? You got the same deal here. You just, all you gotta do is concentrate and the words will come. You sure? Yeah. Ever steered you wrong? Hey, try it now. Just close your eyes. That's right. Now, concentrate. Hey, you kids over there! Bingo! Which one of you threw that egg at Billy Parker? <laughs> I think I'm okay. I think you're okay, too. Thanks. Go to it. Remember? Lewis, Lewis, and Timmy, hurry up! Thanks, Trevor. No problem. He's really very fond of you. Yeah, I kind of like him, too. I realize that you have no use for me after everything I've done, but for Timothy's sake, could we try to let bygones be bygones and be friends? Gee. How do you think your old man would feel about that? Damn it, I told you to stay away from my... Adam, please, Timmy and I invited Trevor. You what? I think the teacher wants us to sit down now. Nobody cares what you think. Adam, if you cause a scene <laughs> here, I will never forgive you. <clears throat> uh, please take your seat, everyone. All right, tell him to keep his distance. I'm sorry, Trevor. You folks behave yourselves and enjoy the show. Good afternoon, parents, and welcome to our production. Yeah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you! <laughs> uh, and thank you for taking time off from uh, whatever you were doing to be here today. I also want to thank you moms and dads who helped provide some of the wonderful costumes. <laughs> yes, and... Um, I feel it only fair to tell you that this is my first attempt at playwriting. <laughs> Broadway may not beckon, but the children have worked so hard, and I'm sure you'll enjoy their thespian efforts. So without any further ado, let's get ready for Officer Brown's Halloween. Yeah. As this Halloween reaches the hey, hey, witching hour. <laughs> <laughs> and before it gets so late that all of you turn into pumpkins, let's all be angels and listen to Officer Brown. As we've seen, Halloween teaches us that things aren't always what they seem. Let me lay down the law. On Halloween, treats may be okay, but some tricks aren't. If we can all remember that, I can blow the whistle on our play. And we can all say, Happy Halloween! <laughs> Didn't they do a wonderful job? <laughs> and, and thank you all for coming. <laughs> Good. Hey, come in. You were great. You were terrific. You were a real credit to the force, pal. Oh, honey, I'm so proud of you. Oh. It was a fine performance, young man. How about some ice cream to celebrate? Yeah. Can you come too, Trevor? Sure. What time? Uh, I got to get back down to the station and do some work. I forgot. We understand. Thank you for coming. Yeah, thanks a lot. Hey, you think I'd miss my buddy's acting debut? No way! We better be, be, get going, Tim. Yes, hey, we'll have our own uh, celebration, okay? All right! I'll call you. Real soon. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, you were terrific. Bye, Timmy. Bye-bye. So I walked out on him. Damn it. Guy, if you never told him about us in the Look, first Will, place... Will, I... The, the damage is done, okay? So stop it. Right now, my father's trying to force me to, to keep quiet about all the stuff that he's pulling. And I don't know what to do. Well, what can you do? You've got to keep quiet. And stand by and watch Natalie lose everything? How can I? But, I, I we can't tell Uncle Palmer about us now. Opal is enough of a problem. Always some excuse. What? Look, Sky, I... If, if she marries... Guy, look, okay, once Opal is dealt with, we can begin to lay the groundwork for telling Uncle Palmer about us. You've got something up your sleeve, Will. What's going on? 
Look, you, uh, you really have to get out of here. No, I'm not going anywhere. Not until you level with me. What are you planning to do to Oakland? Your own milk. It's the perfect food for your baby. But should you need a formula, none is more nutritious than Gerber. Well, thank you for taking Timmy for ice cream. You're welcome. Glad you're able to come see the play. Are you? Uh, yeah, it was a nice surprise. Oh, I was the one that was surprised. Excuse me? Why did you invite Trevor? Because I Timmy... thought I'd made my feelings quite clear. Timmy wanted him to be there, so I invited him. Is that the only reason? What other reason would there be? Natalie, it's obvious that you still are interested in this oh, man. Oh, please. It, it occurs to me that maybe you're using Timmy to hold on to Trevor. Maybe you should do a little less thinking. Not consciously, perhaps. I would never, ever, under any circumstances, use my son. Not consciously, subconsciously, or unconsciously, and for you to even suggest it. If I'm wrong, I apologize. You are wrong. What do I have to do to make you see that your jealousy about Trevor is totally unfounded? I married you, Adam. You're my husband, not Trevor. Now, doesn't that prove that I'm committed to our marriage? Yes, I'd like to think so. Well, then let's forget him. It's hard to forget him when every time I turn around, you're with him. That is not true. So if I'm nice to him, it's because of Timmy. And I would really prefer that you stop badgering me about my so-called feelings for Trevor. They're all in your head. If you say so. You're not nearly as good a liar as you think you 